Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5918 in Candy Crush Saga. It is a nightmarishly hard level. We can tell by this blue background here, where we have 27 moves to clear out 168 frosting. Now I did play this through and I have noticed that 168 is very most likely every single bit of this frosting. I get down to needing 20 and it looked like, yeah, there were still 20 on the board. So let's talk a bit about strategy. I'm going to try to use these dispensers in with my strategy as much as possible. At first, I took these two out, combined them thinking it'll reach over to here and then it's going to set off a whole different chain. But that chain really didn't happen. Once you set a couple off, they all kind of just blow up without that a domino force that I expected. So unfortunately that's the case. So I'm going to set these two off because they're by the thickest frosting here. Now we also have popcorn on the board which eventually will be helpful but right now is just a blocker. The other advantage of making the move down here is I'm going to try to take out these rainbow twists as quickly as possible and I just put um, the the stress mostly on these lower ones and so that helps so there we go now we're starting to get some of these specials on the board from the dispenser and then those that we can create on our own that means that we're opening up the area to the popcorn the popcorn is one of the hardest blockers but i think the worst part are these uh, cutouts that never go away now I've got a green lined up here. I'm gonna actually keep trying for that because opening this up quickly is really important in my opinion. Let's see about setting the orange off where it can hit both of these maybe if I can get there from here, not quite. Oh, I'm gonna move that wrapped candy over. The closer I can get the wrapped candy to the popcorn, the more likely I'll be able to clear that out most quickly. And then if I can get it to where stripes are coming out of here, I might be able to get some vertical stripes that help. So let's do this and see if we can get a wrapped to join it. Not quite. I would like to get some striped wrapped combos here. There we go. I'm going to hit this. That's okay. It's going to take out the most prevalent color on the board, but I'm aiming for this and this and this, and these are going to open because of the position of the striped wrapped. So I took care of one of the most important things to me, which was making moves at the top as quickly as possible. Now I want to be able to get some good combos here. I think I'm going to take out purple because I've got purple hitting along this way. And then I've got other things that I can try to get open from this. Oh, let's see. What if I do a color bomb wrapped candy combo? It's not as great as you might think because I don't have access to the green in here. I think that's what I need is access in here. I mean this, I have this one. That's not bad. I'd like to get more green. Ah, that makes it a little bit better now. More likely to help. And then I still have popcorn over here. What if I do I feel like just taking out all purple, but this would all explode. I'm going to chance it a little bit more and take this out. That was a big chance I took. But now I'm ready to do, I can do it either way. I'm going to do it here and put that green over so it goes to the edge. All right, so now I need to focus on getting to the top here because this is where those stripes are likely to come out, right? So I need to get a stripe that comes out at the at the top here and stays. Oh, look at all this fun stuff. Oh, we got that one struck once. We're just kind of holding on now. Everything is so chaotic. Just have to wait until the board is done playing solitaire to see what we get. All right, I want to ease out a stripe. I don't have any stripes on the board, so I'm likely to get it. There we go, and I can use that blue, that color bomb to hit the blue. So now I've got the potential of having stripes coming out here, but they're not. That's the problem with the potential. It's stingy, and so we don't always get what we want. Ah, let's take this for a spin. Normally I'd probably want to do the wrapped wrapped, and certainly if it were over here I would. 
But this, I want to reach over to this side as well. Still no stripes coming out there. That's sad. So now it's information for me. Every time I play win or lose, I learn something about the board. And uh, so this has shown to me that even if I open this up fairly soon, it's not a sure thing that I'm going to get stripes that are going to take out those columns. I have a lot of work to do. And there we go, 20 again. So it seems like I'm getting fairly consistently close, but not close enough. So I'm going to pause the recording, meet you back here with a new board, and just keep working on it until I can get it done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make this move again, which is a good move even though it feels like a bit of a ripoff on this board. Um, and I want to talk about what makes this particular level so hard. Why is it nightmarishly hard? Because oftentimes what happens is it's a hard level because we don't have any choices. We only have one move we can make and everything is very limited. I think it's opposite on this board. I think we have so many opportunities, it's hard to know which ones to take. Now I will try to take the moves that are uh, focused up high. But then sometimes what happens is we try to plan for something and things go crazy. Like on a normal board, I'm probably going to end up with a very lousy score because I'm going to try to show you a few things strategy-wise. On a normal board, I would try to make a color bomb here. But on this board, so much chaos usually happens that I don't get the chance to do that. Um, yikes. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Oh, I actually got one. Uh, and it stuck around. It didn't fall apart like it normally does because that is what will happen sometimes. Of course, now that I'm trying to show you that, it's behaving nicely. It's trying to make me out to be a liar. Um, let's see. And then, oh, there we go. Chaos ensues. It was hard to try to set it up with anything. So that's one problem. Another problem is that when we do get something like a color bomb stripe combo and we try to take out a lot of stuff on the top, gravity pulls us downward. And that really is traumatic. And now see, I tried to make that stripe draft combo up there to hit these guys. That was not going to work. Uh, and then also because of these cutouts, things can flow kind of in a different pattern than we're accustomed to. So you see, I tried to get the green to strike here, but it just all floated downward so quickly. So when we try to set things up, first of all, there are so many different things we have to look at on this board that it's hard to know which move we should take. We could spend an hour looking and, and you know keep coming up with new opportunities. Secondly, once we do make a move, we don't know how the rest of the board is going to respond. Um, and thirdly, there are crazy things that happen on this board that are difficult to predict. Uh, because of the way things flow. So it makes it a board that I absolutely love. I really enjoy these boards, but one that is probably going to take a while, and I'm not willing to kind of ruin my voice waiting for that to happen. Um, I will look for opportunities to try to make color bomb, color bomb combos in here, but again, crazy things happen and take those away from us quite often. So I will also be looking for the luck that is eventually just going to, you know, kind of combine things for me in the way that I want. I will still try to make moves that aim toward the top portion here. See, though, I'm, I'm trying to get some stripes here, and it didn't work out really well for me. There we go, though. Because I know that those are bits of strategy that can help. And I will look at the combo opportunities I have and try to make the best choices possible. In general, color bomb stripe combo is going to work better on this board than color bomb wrapped combo, especially at this stage of the game. Maybe not so much in the beginning when we're trying to get through those popcorn. Maybe color bomb wrapped combo is the best to take them. All right, so let's just take out all green. And we got pretty far on this board, and this is kind of what's been happening on a regular basis, where I almost get done. And just imagine if I hadn't been trying to show you things, and I had actually played to win, I might have been able to get it. However, just goofing around probably <laughs> got me this far. I might not have gotten this far if I hadn't just been goofing around. So I'm going to pause the recording, come back with no voice, and uh, go for the win, and eventually we'll get there. See you in a bit.
Okay, so here we go. I only have one left and I've got this opportunity. So that should clear this out. And it took approximately 50 tries to get this done. But I liked each and every one of them. This is one of those levels that I find fun, even though it can be frustrating. I hope that you find it just as fun and that you get through this quickly. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.